In AIS 3D, we can change the views by using the Layout button near the top left corner. Click Layout and choose the option you prefer. Confirm by clicking OK. You can toggle full screen by clicking this button once to go into full screen and once to go back. You can also change the number of slices shown. We can move the 3D render by clicking and dragging the mouse. As we do this, the head icon below and to the left also rotates. We can click this icon to snap to any one of the views. The red, blue and green lines represent the axial, coronal and sagittal views shown in the other windows. We can hide these scout lines using this button here and show them by clicking this button. This is the axial view. It's marked by the red line. We can move through the slices by dragging this slider up and down. As we do this, you can see the red line moves on the other views. We can also hover over the view and roll the mouse wheel forwards and backwards to slowly go through slice by slice. We can do the same on the coronal view up here this is represented by the blue line which you can see moves when I drag the slider the green line represents the sagittal view you can angle the lines using the arrow icon and dragging to the angle you need When I click with the left mouse, the crosshairs represents the same position in these slices on all three views. We can right click and move the mouse forwards to zoom in and backwards to zoom out. We can also measure by clicking on the ruler icon Selecting distance, click once to start and once to finish the measurement. You can drag the numbers to move the measurement and you can drag each end of the line to change the distance. You can right click and delete distance should you wish to. We can also right click to reset the NPR angles.